hi people welcome back to my youtube channel once again i'm nakato forida if you're new to this channel this is the channel where i cover practical monitoring and evolution practices this is the channel where i take you from being a normal officer to a project manager or monitoring and evolution manager and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button below and the notification button below to get any updates you would need about monitoring and evaluation and project planning and management practices so as the year ends i know many of you are struggling with uh, finishing end of project reports end of quarterly reports you're filling in those reports so that you can rush to go for your christmas break it's a festive season so yeah i came up with this template uh which i can show you how you can use it to actually do your project reporting very well for the end of this period yeah so let's get right into it so um uh, this uh, template is in excel and uh when we have uh, as you see the template you have uh, the project id if your project has an id if you have very very many projects your project may have an id and in here you have your project name the name of your project then you have the reporting period at which you're reporting. If it's uh, end of December, you put the period. And uh, the type or category of your project, if it's a climate change project, if it's a health project, you can put it in. Uh, the stage of your project, is it in phases? Is it in year two? You can put that it. Who is championing your project? Who is the sponsor or the donor in this case? If you're working in the NGO award, you're a monitoring evaluation manager or officer or project coordinator or manager, you can equally use this template or you're running a project in construction or in uh, anything, any field, you can use this template. The name of the project manager. In the sector, we have our, our the overall progress of the, pro of the project. You state the status of the projects. Uh, have you achieved the project at the end of the period? Is it completed? You set the overall status of your project. So in this uh, box here, you see we have uh, your project, a summary of project performance. When was the scheduled date for your project? The approved, uh, so in this project performance box, or yeah, box you see here, it's about uh, you reporting in your project financials. So you have uh, your scheduled debt, the approved debt for the financials, the focus, what were the actuals received, is there any previous amounts you're carrying from the other time, if it's a phase project to, to now the next year of the project, what were the actual financials that were approved that are focused in the actual, you set this in this uh, box, uh, what were the days that you spent on this project? Are they 365 days? Are they six months? You set the days in this uh, in this uh, dialog box. If it was a one-year project, you said, was it for a said to still be one year? You said that, has it actually spent one year in you delivering the project deliverables? That is it. Is there any previous amount? You said that. Uh, you can also set the benefit in terms of money of the project to the beneficiaries so this is just uh, a summary of the project performance in terms of this what financials so it also includes this box where you see the approved financials and the forecast said financials of the project then you go to the status or summary so here you give uh, a summary status of the project overall You've ended this project, what have you achieved? You put it in the summary box here. What have you achieved? What have you not achieved? What are the successes? What are the key lessons learned? You give it in the summary box here. You state the summary of, uh, it's like summaries in the report, the end of project report. If it's ending this year, yeah, you're going and you have to release this uh, project report to your donor or your immediate supervisor. So you set a summary of your project in this box and you go to this uh, table below so in here is you have the key milestones uh, the due dates were they achieved in the due date stated in the project document or concept if your key milestone was uh, were able maybe to to develop uh, 
a manual for for the project and it was due by end of December then you said that if it was completed you said the status of this that it's completed uh, if it's supposed to be revised and you not know, complete it you also summarize here that maybe I need to more time you said the due date and then if it was completed or non completed you have to take any correct corrective actions or you planned any decisions you state a summary here about that key deliverable or milestone you've achieved in the project. Yeah, so still it goes on and highlights your key achievements you've uh, attained in the project implementation period. That is the last period of the project implementation. Here you achieve, maybe you achieve this, you set that achievement in during this project implementation period. And uh, what will be our key next deliverables if it's a, a more than one year project, you set your key next deliverables. So basically this table summarizes the key milestone or deliverables you're supposed to uh, attain in this project. You, you, you put them in this dialog box. The due dates, if they need to be reserved, any summary notes on the status of this work. Key milestone or deliverables you're supposed to deliver in this project. And down here we have uh, the key achievements or highlights you have achieved in the project since it's what it has maybe finished it's here it's ended any highlights any key achievements and what will be your key deliverables for the next period uh we have the next uh, table where still if you're reporting on your project you look at uh, any key risks or issues you faced was it uh, uh was it uh fluctuation of prices it affected your project somehow was it uh, uh, delays in uh, doing some of these activities um, uh, you said the impact or severity of this uh, risk you, you faced was it a stop in some of the legal policies and it affected you what was the potential effect what uh, avoidance or mitigation actions did you do to avoid this uh, risk and who would be the risk owner and if you need to still uh, mitigate this risk, when will that action be? And uh, any date closed. So that is briefly about the template you can use to report on your project status. This is a project status reporting template. If you're interested to have one, you can reach out to me in the description box and my contacts, I'm going to leave them there. So thank you very much. That has been it on how you can report on your project status using this template. Very simplified template. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please make it. We are making it a thousand subscribers. Support my channel, support my growth. And lastly, I have a course on uh, Kugika, short course in monitoring evaluation. You can have all these resources, these resources and uh, things. Uh, my site on Synthikis, I have a course, you can reach out to me if you're interested still in enrolling for these courses, thank you very much.